Hey guys, so I just thought I would put my two cents in for this coronavirus. You hear Spongebob Lincoln's listening to it in there. So we have been on full quarantine in the house for one week and two days. Uh, the kids' last day of school was on the 13th of this month for Alberta. Um, I don't know. It's been kind of crazy. We're all a little nervous. We take, we're taking huge precautions when we leave the house. Only, you know, one person really leaves the house. Everybody else stays in. Um, been making homemade soups and cinnamon rolls and <laughs> whatever else. But, yeah, so... Our plans for next month have basically been cancelled, but they're, everything's kind of on hold at this point. I'm nervous about having to teach the kids, like take over the teacher aspect on top of everything else. Pray to God they don't fail. <laughs> My fault. Yeah, but... My feelings on this is actually quite, I'm quite nervous about this whole scenario. Um, when the SARS H1N1 thing was around, um, my four older kids did end up getting that. And Lincoln was only two weeks old when that happened. So I had to be quarantined away from them until they got better, which was like two and a half weeks. Because he was brand new. And that was really scary. Uh, and they were really sick. So I, I don't want that to happen again, obviously. And this is, seems more extreme, obviously, with just the way the world is. Closing everything down and shutting everything. It's just, we're just stopping. The world's just stopping for this, which is scary. It, it's very scary. But um, I think I'm most nervous. Um, being in Canada, I feel like we kind of have a grip on it. I think that we're going in the right direction, but with Trump's most recent, you know, bullshit speech where he decides that um, this whole isolation thing is not for him, I just wonder where we sit with this as Canada. Uh, makes me nervous knowing that he's our neighbor and he's so erratic and not taking this seriously enough. Anyway, like I was saying, um, his way of thinking is very stupid in my opinion and we're they're gonna end up like Italy if they don't get a grip on it in my opinion uh, but I feel like Canada's taking this the right way we're we're trying to you know really stop people from going out like seriously thinking ticketing them and arresting them and you know if especially if they've been on quarantine or told to be on quarantine which i think is the right thing to do um but there's still obviously the stupid people out there that's not taking it seriously enough and they're just out and about doing whatever they want yeah but we are doing our best to only leave when we have to leave we have to get our little kitten neutered um, on Thursday um, so that during this possible six month quarantine he's not peeing all over my house or getting his sister or mother pregnant which is just not good we don't want that so but at that same time we'll be going out and getting every little thing that we need so that we're only going out one day and we do wear um, masks and these are I don't even have one here they're serious masks they are industrial painting masks so they're to filter out carcinogenic or carcinogenic something the, the, the chemicals that are in the air from painting very poisonous paint in large forms so we use those with these huge filters and it's this whole thing to leave the house and we wash our hands and sanitizer and our coats and everything are Lysol down when we get home and shoes and stuff are left out and we're doing our best to keep everybody healthy because I don't want my children to get sick obviously because this is very scary 
um, for some people it's not so bad for other people it's really really bad and there is a lot of us in this house so the likelihood that one of us will get it really really bad is you know possible which is scary and then there is you know my kids grandmas both immune compromised uh, so we're terrified for them because they're still in BC which has the highest cases of death anyway I forgot what I was saying freaking kids um, and they're here for God knows how much longer <laughs> quarantine life Ooh. you know there was this meme I saw on Facebook it's um anytime I get a tickle in my throat I think is that you Rona <laughs> you know the coronavirus is that it is this it do I have it even though I haven't left the house in well over a week well over, you know I think before the kids even got out of school I was not leaving the house really at all um i'd say the beginning of the week i was still uh going and getting ice caps and then i was you know nervous about that because yeah sure they're wearing gloves and stuff but they're also touching the money and they're touching other people's bank cards and they're touching this and that and the other thing and then they're touching my drink and my straw and my you know obviously the straw has a, a wrapping on it but the the cup then i'm touching the cup and then i'm touching my face and uh, you know washing my hands like crazy we're all washing our hands like crazy they're just dry but then you don't know how far to take it you also feel like oh I think I'm, maybe I'm going a little overboard but then you look at it and these people are dying fast and it's spreading fast so it's like maybe I'm not taking it serious enough and then other people are really not taking it serious enough but you don't know until it's over, right? Hence 2020 vision after the fact. So it's just trying to make it through. Amazon Prime has become one of our good friends. <laughs> We've been ordering things on there. Um, I had like a, a soap thermometer, you know, that you point and that tells you your temperature. But I'm worried that it's not fully accurate for people. And possibly just for kind of food stuff or I, I don't know so I ordered another one on Amazon hopefully it'll get here soon I don't know but we have to go out and get a bunch of things and yeah just to, to manage the kids are really bored but I mean we're only a week in so geez but we're thankful for our internet obviously and having unlimited services for internet because we are a pretty heavy gaming system family like there's one on every floor it seems like or we are um streaming in some way shape or form in our family so there's that i don't know um i know we have some things that we want to do like um we want to build a bunk bed set for the girls. I would like um, a little bench kind of built for the front, maybe, with, so we'll get wood and stuff. I would like to get some more plants um, when we go and get the wood kind of thing, just so that I have plants. I've ordered seeds, <laughs> and I've been wishing we lived out of the city and more out of town with some actual acreage so that we could you know plant a full garden and possibly have other things than just you know a small backyard um especially with a dog so yeah yeah good but yeah so everyone's doing their best to keep themselves occupied yeah but I've been watching like homesteading videos and stuff being like, good lord, I wish I, I had these things. That's what got me wishing I had a piece of property and had me starting, like I'm baking things and cooking things. The kids have never ate healthier since this. <laughs> Everything's like made from scratch. Because then I know, I know it's okay. I know it's good. And, it, and I should be feeding like the, them like that all the time. I do know that. But um, again... 2020 vision after the fact, right? But, yeah.
We have a TikTok to keep everybody um, entertained, <laughs> including myself. I have a TikTok account, playing around with it every once in a while. I don't post too often, but yeah. Um, can you go play with that upstairs, please? Thank you. Um, yeah, anyway. The only good thing I found out of this whole situation is... Um, the obligation to actually get out and do something and go in and not be lazy is not there anymore. And our gas prices are really good. We're 64 cents or something a liter, which is, we haven't seen this price in a really long time. Hoping to see 50 cents, but obviously that's not a good thing for our, our markets and whatever and all that crap, but it is what it is. In a little bit, okay? Can you let me finish, please? But having them home all the time is a little crazy. Thank God I don't drink. Or maybe too bad I don't drink. <laughs> Guess it depends on what perspective you look at it. Um, I don't know. Anyway, hopefully everybody is staying safe and doing their part, staying home, washing your hands, doing all the things you need to be doing and following all the rules you should be following. We are here. Stay safe and we will talk to you all soon. Bye.